So this is the Genesee Effica netbook. Right here is an arm powered netbook and it's uh, running, check it out, it's running Microsoft Office on an arm powered uh, laptop. So there's a full, uh, I'm typing BBB, oops, we just yeah. need to, something, because it's going on, it's right now it's running Citrix to do this whole thing. So basically Citrix is an uh, app on demand, or how would you call this? Uh, solution that they have uh, basically it could be open office as well but it could be any x86 kind of app is it virtualized it's, or what do you well, call it? yeah it's a Citrix Zen server so we have one big server running right now for demo purposes and uh, it's you can you can publish Zen apps like that and you can publish Windows applications over the network nice so there you have it Ubuntu on the Freescale IMX 51 it'll also run uh, Freescale IMX 53 later and uh, there you have it. Uh, this is a web-based interface. So you would have applications, email, documents. In theory, a lot of apps will work on this. And if you go into applications and check out what's going on. Um, so the Wi-Fi is maybe slow right here, but uh, this website is called Cloud City. CloudCity.me. So is it launched already, this service? Uh, not officially. It's only as demo right now but it will be launched as part of uh, the services that we provide on country operators and so on, that they can even uh, manage their own server for this kind of uh, applications or uh, for universities or whatever. So. so they would need to, of course, get a, a deal with Microsoft. Maybe it's not. A, maybe there's a standard deal already or maybe not, but they need, they need to license the software, of course, and then it will basically run on this cool thing, possibly $300 target price, uh, maybe even lower thin, super cool, arm-powered laptop. So we're here at the Freescale Technology Forum, and uh, you're uh, Genesee. Yes, Genesee. So what is this company? Um, it's a company which is actually specialized in low-power computing. Uh, we started back in the day with uh, G3 and G4 PowerPC processors. We switched to uh, Freescale 5200B uh, platform, uh, which uh, resulted in the original, original Afika. And then uh, we switched uh, to ARM uh, not that long ago. And basically, these are the two first products uh, from Genesee uh, based on Idle MX51. Um, one is uh, a net top, like this, a small box with uh, HDMI output and uh, a couple of USB ports and so on. Um, and uh, this one can be used, for instance, as a thin client or as a uh, display unit, which can be, for instance, glued at the back of the screen or something. And is it IMX51? Yes, IMX51, yeah, 5.5 based. So both are both in these. Yes. So you, you make software solutions? Um, we're both hardware software uh, company, and we try to come up with solutions for uh, common problems. Um, our market is not really uh, the typical American or European market, but we're focusing more on developing countries. We have some projects running in El Salvador, in Mexico, and Algeria, just to name a couple of them. Um, what we're trying to do is uh, come up with interesting and relatively cheap solutions for problems that they face in those developing countries. Nice. So, uh, what what is your vision about the price? Uh, if somebody were to to pick this up, like a, a yeah. carrier, or well, and, the, and just sell okay. lots of these. Um, some uh, prices that we've been we've play, been playing with is around two hundred dollars for this box and three hundred dollars for the netbook. So these are some some rough estimates of what you can expect once they go into market. Um, this one's for sale right now already on the website. Um, they're still not in mass production, but you can get these for two hundred and fifty dollars right now. Nice. So they aren't there. These ones, hopefully within uh, a month or so or two months, they, this will, these will be available as well for us. So. Cool, with all the software features and all that. And you, your company uh, is also making some, some car tracking solutions? Um, yeah, we have, um, as, as we said, we're, we're uh, a provider of solutions for developing countries, for instance. Um, one of the things that we do with these uh, systems, especially with the netbook, is develop a, a GPS uh, tracking solution. This netbook has uh, GSM built-in, has GPS built-in, um, has webcam built-in and everything like that. And this can basically serve as a mobile tracking station for vehicles, for instance, in developing uh, countries where subscription-based models for standard GPS tracking might not work. 
Nice. So the only thing, the only expense is just the SIM card plan with yes, the SMS. Yes, exactly with the SMS. Yeah, that's entire, it. You could work over GPRS or 3G network as well, but those networks are usually not reliable uh, in the countries uh, that I just mentioned. So uh, we go for a little uh, less advanced standard of uh, transferring data over SMS. And you can have then a map where you can have all your vehicles on. You can track them. You can put geofences on it and so on. So this one is running Ubuntu. Do you also do yes. uh, something, some some hacking going on with the kernel and stuff? What is that? Um, we're uh, one of the one or the, the most important IP from Genesee is actually called Aura, which is a firmware which can abstract the hardware. Um, what that means is that you can have one kernel which runs on multiple hardware platforms without having to change the underlying uh, layer to, to make it run on a certain platform. In other words, uh, we eliminate board support packages. So you don't need a board support package anymore for every typical uh, hardware platform that comes up. Um, you do that once on firmware level, and then based on that you implement uh, operating systems on top of the firmware. So no need for extensive board support packages anymore. So is that uh, something that's relevant for the ARM where each architecture it's, has it's, different... Well, they don't have BIOS, right? They have firmware. No, uh, the firmware, yeah, exactly. And in that firmware, uh, we put an abstraction layer and we have all kinds of nice features. For example, what you could do is have proprietary GPL, or sorry, proprietary uh, GL drivers inside the firmware so that you don't have to have source code access to those drivers to make GL, OpenGL applications uh, on your desktop. Nice. So and also, you can you can launch Qt. You can launch yes. all kinds of things. Um, especially with Aura, with uh, version 2.0, we're actually integrating a, m a microkernel inside the firmware, which will mean that you can do such fun stuff as run Qt directly on top of the firmware, or even run a Java virtual machine directly on top of the firmware and eliminating Linux altogether. So the firmware firmware will provide for audio, for uh, video output, and all kinds of other drivers that are necessary for your application. Very fast boot. Yes, exactly. We're trying to cut down boot up time to basically instant on uh, for individual applications. So the idea is not to have a full desktop running onto that. That's always what you can do with Linux. Uh, but to have those specific applications that might not need the whole Linux uh, environment to have those up and running as fast as possible. So the Efica is actually right here in the car. Uh, they've, uh, the university has won a prize building this uh, hybrid car and they're using the Efica MX Open Client Computer right there with the MX51. Hardware accelerated 12.3 LCD. Bluetooth 9.10 right now. So this is the interface right now. I, I don't have the key so I can't turn it on but this is one of the things they have. All these things going on right here. A sharp 12.3 inch display. So uh, that's pretty cool. The Echo Car right here is part of their solution. You can see there's a keyboard right here. There's a USB connected to the to the information from the car into that system. It does fancy stuff. <laughs>